Karen from ediblewildfood.com here today. And this video basically is all about, okay, so you have your erroneas, what now? What do you do with all these once you've gathered them? Knowing when to gather them is important too. You can tell that the very dark color is when they are ripe. I won't get into details of identification. You can just kind of take a gander here at the leaf structure and the berry structure. And I'm going to put a link to the identification of these in the description below. I'm also going to put a link to a video that I did three years ago about these berries and their medicinal and nutritional values. If you're not sure when to harvest these, technically, what, when, if they have a bit of a give, and you can tell these do because they're obviously bleeding on my finger here, then you know they're ready. If they're too hard, they're not ready. But you really want to make sure that they have this really, really dark purple, almost black color. And actually, I just noticed right next door here, here come the nanny berries. I have a video for that too, of course, and I'll put a link to that one below. However, what I wanted to mention before I get into recipes and how to store these long term is the freezing and refrigeration of these. We know that there are so many polyphenols in these berries. And in fact, polyphenols are the most important antioxidants in the human diet. Choke berries are some of the richest sources of these poly polyphenols, sorry about that, that are known to us. I came across some really interesting research that I'm gonna put a link to below. What happens to all the valuable polyphenols and other constituents once the aronia berries are frozen or put into the refrigerator? You'll be surprised, they maintain a fair bit. But this research is really, I find it's uh, incredible. It's extremely thorough. And if you have the time, do make sure that you read it. Alrighty, so preserving these long-term, I feel is important because you can only eat so many of these fresh. And I'm gonna show you a few things I'm doing to preserve these long-term as well as having links to some of the recipes that are on my website for these berries. So stay tuned before I go home. Look at what I just got in 10 to 15 minutes. First, before I can actually let you know how many I picked, I got to get these home, clean them up and measure them out. Freezing is one of the best ways to preserve your aronia berries long term. All you have to do is place them on parchment paper covered baking sheet and toss it into your freezer until they're frozen. And then you can put them into a Ziploc bag and you'll have them throughout the winter to use whenever you like. I like to do a lot of dehydrating when preserving things long term. And the reason for that is if we were to lose our hydro for any extended period of time, the amount of food that we have in our freezers could end up spoiling. So I always want to make sure I have some dried goods on hand. Just having said that, doing aronia berries, I made sure that they were cut in half before putting them onto the trays. And this is the unit that I used for the dehydrating. That was the temperature that they were dehydrating at, and it took almost 24 hours. But it's good to know. This is just another way to preserve your berries long term. Without a doubt, we know that these aronia berries are loaded with flavonoids, anthocyanins, proanthocyanins, and so much more that is incredibly good for us. But, you know, eating them like this just doesn't do it. So, aronia berries, meat, chocolate, coconut, oats, and this is what you have. Now, I'll put the recipe in the description below, of course. But this is something that I was kind of playing around with this morning in the kitchen. And this is the end result. And it truly 
is delicious. And now to the fun part, the recipes. These are a sampling of some of the recipes I've created. The link to the actual recipes will be in the description below. And I hope you have a chance to try some of these out. And yes, this tasted as good as it looks. This is my Aronia fruit smoothie. This is what I called my wild berry sauce. Aronia berry chutney. This was super tasty. Can't have a collection of recipes unless it includes cookies. Aronia berry cookies, and these are low sugar and taste great. When the aronias are out, that's zucchini season, and people are always looking for new ways to work with zucchini because it is one of those crops that are just plentiful. So if you have aronias, Give Aronia zucchini bread a try. Okay, so you saw these earlier. These are my coconut choco bites that have Aronia berries in them and on them. And Aronia and chocolate, wow, great combo, especially with that coconut. If you have aronia berries in your area and you've been neglecting wanting to harvest them, I hope these recipe ideas have inspired you to get out there and go gather those berries. And I just want to say a big thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, if you can give it a thumbs up and be sure to share in your social media. If you're a subscriber, thank you. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you will do me the kindness and consider subscribing. And please make sure you hit that notification bell for future videos. Thank you.